write the order pair for each graphed point. So point A. So point A, the order pair, you always make sure you put the parentheses, negative 2 is the x coordinate and then 4 for the y coordinate. So then for point B, um, you put your parentheses, then you put positive 5, put the comma, then you put 3. Mm -hmm. What quadrant is that? A quadrant one. Mm -hmm. Keep going. So then for point C, it would be negative 4. Mm -hmm. The x coordinate is? x coordinate is negative 4, and the y coordinate is negative 1. Mm -hmm. And what quadrant is that? That's quadrant 3. Mm -hmm. And then for point D, it is the, the x coordinate is positive 3. Mm -hmm. And then the y coordinate is negative two. Mm-hmm. And what quadrant is that? That's quadrant four. Good. And then for for pot, for point E, it would be zero. Zero. Exactly. Because you because don't because you don't mm -hmm. move up or down or you don't move left or right. And that's called the origin. Or zero zero. All right, number two. Let's go to number two. The, the coordinate plane below shows six graph points, so we want to answer right. true or false. So let's just leave it. I, I oh, let's do it like this so we can see all of the answer choices. All right. So, okay. Tell whether each statement is true or false. Okay. You got that. A, the distance from G to L is six in the absolute values plus six negative six in the absolute values. So, you go on the um, grid the little thing mm -hmm. and you find G and L you see it right here G and L and then you um you write up write G mm -hmm. the order oh, pair it's okay six G mm -hmm. which is the order pair for G negative four is negative six so the x coordinate is negative four the y coordinate is negative six mm -hmm. yep. and now you gotta write your um order pair order pairs for L and L, start with the x-axis, which is 4, and then negative 6. Mm -hmm. So, you write them out. These cancel, these out 6 and negative 6. So now you're stuck with 4 and negative 4. So now you write your absolute values. Negative 4 plus 4. The absolute value of 4. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then, you add it. Mm -hmm. Which is add the absolute value. So that's gonna stay at four because all it the all it stays positive, and plus four, which is eight. So the distance from G to L is six plus mm, six. The absolute value of six plus the absolute value of negative six. Yes. That is that is gonna be false. Exactly. So let's go to the next one. Oh, don't scroll down, just keep it on that. All right, so the points F, M, L, and G represent the corners of a square. Now, that's the key word, so, square. This is what you're supposed to do. So, F, M, L, G. So, what you want to do is make your loops. One, two, three, four, four. All right, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight. Now we're gonna do the size. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's gonna be nine. That's eight. I'm write it down. Nine, eight. Then one. Well, two, that's parallel three, to this, so five, it's gonna be eight, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So obviously it's not a square because they all have different sizes. Eight. If it was a square, all the sides would have been equal, and mm -hmm. this is a rectangle, so it's going to be false. Good. All right, moving on to the next one. So, uh, so C. The, yeah. Read it. The distance from F to M is negative 4 in absolute value, 
and absolute value for. So, F, M. You gotta write right to order pairs. Yep, so the order pairs for F is gonna be negative 4 and 3. Mm -hmm. M is going to be, there's M right there. M is gonna be 4 and negative 3. So, two of them should be the same. So, M is in quadrant one. In quadrant one. M is in quadrant one. So, what are the ordered pairs in quadrant oh, one? Oh, so it's going to be. So, it's going to be this. And I was looking at, I, was th I thought that was minus sign. Yeah, because we got to get, we got to clear that graph. Up. Let's do that tonight. So, let's. Erase all of this. I saw that little part. I thought that was negative. But it's it's above zero. So yeah, yes. so it's gonna be positive. All right, there you go. So now that the y coordinates are the, the y same. coordinates are the same. So you just cross them all they out. So you now you do your own absolute absolute value. values. So it's gonna be negative four plus four. And you add because they're in different quadrants. Keep going. Yeah, they're in different quadrants. So it's gonna be four because it always stays positive plus four, which is eight. Mm -hmm. And that's is that what it have here for C? So, yes, because it's negative four plus four. The so absolute value. Of the negative. absolute value of negative four and absolute value of four. Exactly. That so that was it. True. Yes, that is true. Let's go to the next one. The Ooh. distance from F to G. The distance from F to G. So that's going to be negative. The absolute value of negative six minus the absolute value of 3. So, F and G is across the y-axis. So, that's the x. Yeah, the x, I mean the x-axis, the x-axis. So, you write them out. You write the order pairs. For order it. pairs. Mm -hmm. So, F is going to be negative 4 and 3. G is going to be, I mean, negative 4, yeah. And negative six. Mm -hmm. So the x or the x, yeah, the Coordinate. x coordinates are the same. So they call you cross them out. And now you are stuck with this and this. The y coordinates. Yeah, the y coordinates. So you write negative six in the co I mean absolute value plus um three. So six plus three equals nine and is that the same no because the three in the y-axis when the absolute value is positive and this one is oh wait. no the subtraction sign yes yeah, so, so yeah it's a subtraction sign so it's gonna be false all right and then the last one the distance from l to g is twice the distance from h to k that is true we gonna we gotta move quick because so we look eight one two three four uh huh and then from that's h to k so we have four four and then for l to g go ahead one two three four five six seven eight and that is true eight. because four is twice as so much as four two. times two equals eight good yeah. uh. Uh.